So welcome. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank you um, for joining our So My Body Self Care. This is actually our self care and service practices in the love, peace, and harmony field. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with me, we are going to be also um, going live on Facebook with the Tao Healing Hawaii Consortium. And it will also be posted to our Satori Family Wellness page on Facebook as well as a YouTube as well. So you can also see um, and catch up with some of our sessions there. So thank you everyone for joining. My name is Laurie. I am a licensed psychologist by profession as well as a certified master teacher with the Tao Academy and a love, peace, and harmony field representative. So I'm very honored to be with you today. And in our self-care series, we are maybe at our ninth session in this round. And so I thought that we'd kind of check in and we'll review some of the information that we talked about in the last sessions, which are like the monitoring gauges in terms of noticing where we are. And then I'll introduce the eight dimensions of wellness. And I thought that for this month, we'll kind of go over some of the different dimensions. And today we'll be focusing on the emotional wellness. And we'll do our love, peace, and harmony meditation to um, end this short um, half hour session. So welcome. So as we had talked about earlier um, in the previous sessions, and please feel free, it is all recorded and you can go back to watch these. We are monitoring where we are. So let's kind of close your eyes to do your check-in, your thoughts, your emotions, any bodily symptoms or sensations, any behaviors or actions that you are concerned about. I want you to just kind of check in to see where you are at this moment. And the focus for our self-care is really about not judging it. We are where we are, and we actually want to connect with a loving, a peace, and harmony as we think about where we are and some of the signs or symptoms we don't have to judge it. We're just going to notice them, attend to them, acknowledge them, be aware of them. And this in itself can help it to naturally transform. But we will be adding the additional support of the love, peace, and harmony, Tao Calligraphy field, which will give us this added frequency vibration and positive message that can more easily transform and keep us in balance and in greater wellness. Okay. So the eight dimensions of wellness, and some of you may be familiar with this, as I've also presented on our Thursday wellness hour with the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field, which everyone is invited to. It's another complimentary free service. So we have emotional, environmental, financial, intellectual, occupational, physical, social, and spiritual. So these are some of the dimensions that in um, some theories have talked about. And so let's kind of delve further more in the emotional wellness. So one definition I saw is that emotional wellness refers to our ability to successfully handle life's stresses and adapt to change and difficult times. I actually did a Kapuna connection one about resilience and adaptability um, that you can see on our fam Satori Family Wellness channel, YouTube channel. So let's kind of connect. So I want you to kind of close your eyes and we'll go through a meditation with the love, peace, and harmony field. So close your eyes to connect 
and think about this aspect of emotional wellness. Check in to notice how are you in adapting to life stressors and challenges? Does change and adaptability come easily for you? Is it challenging for you? And whatever it is, uh, we're not going to judge it. We're just going to notice where your, what your perception is about your resilience, about your adaptability. And as you think about and, and kind of rate yourself, notice how your thoughts, your emotions, your bodily sensations are as we think about our emotional wellness. And I just want you kind of to notice how you're feeling. It could be some thoughts in our head that is affecting our emotions. It could be some sensations in your heart you might be feeling. When you think about emotional wellness and your ability to change or adapt, you could really feel it in other parts of your body, your lower abdomen, or like, you know, how they call, oh, I feel, I feel it in the pit of my stomach, right? Or something like that. So just notice, and the key again is that we are practicing no judgment. We're just noticing and we're going to attend to these in the love, peace, harmony field. Okay, so just notice what comes out as you're thinking about your ability to adapt and change. Maybe you're noticing that you are undergoing some of life's stressors right now in your health, your finances, your relationships, your mental health, you know, um, for work, maybe with your neighbors or community. Whatever it is, whatever can maybe comes up for you that, ah, oh, this is a challenge that's coming up in my life. And this is how I'm currently handle this, handling this stress. Some of you might be ignoring it or like putting it aside or really having trouble with the emotions or the thoughts about it. Notice where this is in your body. And again, without judgment, or without attachment or non-attachment, we're just gonna notice and be aware of what we're feeling. And notice where you might be feeling this. You might be noticing you have some thoughts or beliefs that, oh, I don't, change is hard for me or I can't adapt. Or this is too much. Or you just might be feeling really sad or heavy or scared. Or you might not be noticing much. You're kind of maybe numb to these situations. Because actually in life, we are constantly getting information. We are constantly going through experiences that can, uh, you know, that, that's just what life is. But sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it might be, feel more challenging. And if you're feeling that you don't have anything in particular going on, we can, uh, you can, connect and do this practice to maybe gain more resilience, to help prevent the imbalance that you get uh, when life's challenges come our way. Because all of us will get things, right? This is just how life is. So notice just thinking, oh, I might get something. I, you know, life happens. And just notice how your body is feeling. And you can um, rate yourself from zero to 10 as to your comfort or your stress level, your anxiety or your emotional 
um, unrest with this. How wonderful. And thank you to those who are joining from our Satori Family Wellness Center. It is now open and you can join and watch with the group live. We also do other service um, opportunities there. So you can also call in those. We're gonna add our service component as well. So maybe you might know other people who are experiencing some stressors or have challenging with the emotional wellness, having difficulty with change or going through something. Invite them in like at our soul level. So my daughter returned back to college. She said it's already very, she just started this week, but she already has a lot of homework and is adapting. So, you know, I can call her in, so in. You can also physically, you know, send them these videos or invite them to join us. It's another way to support them. But in any case, you can invite the souls in and have them do this practice with us. So imagine that they're also here with us. Give them your love and service. Invite them to open their heart to this love, peace, and harmony field. So what this love, peace, and harmony field does it, it, is it carries this high frequency vibration and message that can help to transform these frequencies and vibrations that are making us maybe a bit more emotional or making things more challenging, causing us maybe the heaviness or the heartache or the stress and anxiety. So when we connect with the field, imagine that this light is coming in from 360 degrees into the area of your body that you're holding these maybe challenging thoughts or worrisome thoughts, some of the emotions, or some of the beliefs about your ability to deal with change and to adapt with, you know, just life's, whatever happens in life. So we can strengthen our resilience, our flexibility, our adaptability emotionally. So we're going to use our practice with our power techniques. Our soul power is we've dear the love, peace, harmony field. We love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please support us in our request to boost our emotional wellness, to help build our resilience, our ability to be flexible and adapt with any of life stressors that come our way. We're so grateful. For those of you who have spiritual fathers and mothers that you believe in, you have what we call Tao treasures, which are special services that are permanent treasures downloaded to our souls. You can also connect, turn those on to support you. Many of us have these love, peace, and harmony treasures. I think all souls have been gifted that by our teacher, Dr. Master Jigong Sha. Even though you, this is something new to you, just assume that you have it and connect with these treasures of love, peace, and harmony. And we're connecting with the field. We're going to imagine it again, 360 degrees around us. You're going to use mind power to imagine this love and light and this positive, pure message of love, peace, and harmony coming in to support us, to support our emotional wellness. Feel this light. This is the hard part to really feel the message of love, peace, and harmony 
but also feel where you're feeling you need more of that love, peace, and harmony, where you might feeling a little bit in balance. Let that light come into that area. For body power, you can put one hand on your heart, one hand on your lower abdomen to bring in that message, or one hand where you're feeling, one hand on your lower abdomen, and, and one hand where you might be feeling you need that extra support coming in. There's a saying where your hands are is where energy goes. Or your body power can be to trace the Tao calligraphy, to connect with it in a more powerful way. So for those of you who are familiar with this Tao calligraphy tracing power, you can do that. And I will also trace so you know the pathway of this. And I also connect you with sound power. We're going to be listening to the music of love, peace, and harmony. And we'll do the instrumental for now. So you can continue the meditation. And the message of love, peace, and harmony, the music, this is our sound power. Some of you know the words and can sing along. If not, I believe it might be in the description. Page. So for those who are just meditating, allow yourself to close your eyes and bring in this love and light, this love, peace, and harmony. If you open your eyes, you can imagine that the light and the field is coming in through your eyes, kind of bringing a message of love, peace, and harmony, clearing maybe some of the things that we've seen that's just not so love, peace, and harmony. Okay. If you're tracing, you can imagine that as we go through, I'm doing love, Shanghai. As you're tracing the pathway, each stroke is clearing away these blockages that we might be holding, this negative information. And we're replacing it with love, greatest unconditional love, peace and harmony. As we trace, it's activating this beautiful color. Some might really resonate with the rainbow light of love, peace, and harmony. And tracing peace with the cursor. This is ping on. Message of love, peace, harmony, relaxing you. Now we're going to do let's clear this. Harmony, her, she. And trace. As you trace, really can allow yourself to connect with the message of the field of love, peace, and harmony. These are special sacred calligraphies written by our teacher, Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. And because of his training, his high level abilities, and service, he has been able to create these powerful 
sacred calligraphies to create a powerful love, peace, harmony field. And we thank each of you for being here, participating. For you add to the field is each of you have the message of love, peace, and harmony within you that we are connecting and bringing out more and more. This will help you balance and build your emotional wellness. Imagine within you is a symbol of emotional health. You might notice where you carry this message of emotional well-being. Maybe in your heart or your lower abdomen. We're going to bring this love, peace, and harmony message. Positive frequencies and vibrations to boost our emotional wellness, our ability to adapt to life stressors, to be resilient, to be flexible, to be able to positively perceive whatever is happening in, within our life, to not judge it, but to be able to learn and grow and stay in a loving, peaceful, and harmonious space filled with love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. So feel the field 360 degrees, breathing in through your nose. This love and light, bring it to your lower abdomen. Exhale. Let that light expand throughout your body, especially in the areas that need that support, that's feeling a bit heavy or tense. Allow yourself to relax. Let go of any tension. Let the message of love, peace, and harmony grow within you. See the light of love, peace, and harmony. Your whole body radiating this beautiful light of love, peace, and harmony. For some of you, you might be imagining beautiful gold light from the field and your whole body like a golden being of light. Some of you may resonate with the purple or the rainbow light. Notice that within your being. Some of you may be able to connect with the crystal light or white light. Allow yourself to use your mind power, your creative visualization and imagination to feel this light from the field and feel it absorbing within your being and resonating with this love, light, and message. Feel love, peace, harmony around you and within you.
Inhale, nice and natural, relax with every breath. Breathing in love, peace, and harmony. Bring it to your lower abdomen, to ground, center, balance. Build your foundation to be more stable. Building your emotional wellness. This foundation of this, imagining this golden or the light ball in your lower abdomen, how it can help you build your resilience, your flexibility, your ability to adapt with what life brings in a loving, peaceful, harmonious way. Exhale, feel this ball of light in your lower abdomen. Rotate gently. It can be going counterclockwise or clockwise, whatever way it wants to go. But as you're imagining it gently rotating, feel that it's boosting your foundation, your stability, your groundedness. It's boosting your emotional wellness your ability to maintain or to get back in a positive emotional wellness state. So you can inhale, exhale, love, peace and harmony, boosting your emotional wellness. Again, inhale, Love, peace, and harmony. Exhale, love, peace, and harmony. Expands throughout your entire body and being. One more breath in. Love, peace, and harmony. Exhale, love, peace, and harmony. Expands within your every system, organ, cell, cell unit. RNA, DNA to their smallest tiny matter and the messages in between and spaces in between just carrying that message of love, peace and harmony of positive emotional wellness and we're going to check in now to how your body is feeling just with this short practice Hopefully you're feeling a bit calmer and more positive about your emotional well-being. That you can believe that you can transform your emotional wellness. So just notice how your body feels, your emotions, your thoughts. And if you are feeling more coming up, like your emotions are coming up, your thoughts are coming up, you might just need more support. And you can go back, watch these sessions, watch other videos. We also have our Thursday wellness hour, our free wellness hour in the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field, which is an introduction to the Tao Chang. Chang'e's field and this is where we have an opportunity for a full hour to practice with another set of Tao calligraphy and these Tao calligraphies are primarily um, of a very high and powerful level to really promote healing and transformation. So please join us and also check in to see how your the souls you've called in are doing. They may also, um, hopefully, you might see them full of light. And you might want to actually invite those souls to join us physically to watch the videos, 
Um, but if not, you can continue to call in those that you love, like I did my daughter who can't join us. Um, but you can invite their souls to join us. And let's see. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mom. Annette mentioned feeling so relaxed and peaceful. Thank you, Master Shaw, who created this wonderful video. So let's say thank you, thank you, thank you to the field, to all of these beautiful calligraphies, to those that you've called in. You can have those that you've called in on the soul level respectfully return. As we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And again, just a reminder, we can continue your wellness journey, your self-care journey. Practice a few minutes. You can go back and rewatch these video, this video or any others that we have in our self-care series. And you can also join us, as I mentioned, on our free wellness evening with Dow Calligraphy. Um, on Thursdays, 7 to 8, this is Hawaii time. And you can register to get the links and more information on our Satori Family Wellness Eventbrite page as well. So thank you everyone for joining. Thank you those who joined me on Zoom. Wow, wonderful. I have Joanne, Mom, Annette, and Naomi there at Satori. And to Betty, Irma, Brian, Asha, welcome. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful rest of your day and hope to see you soon for the next class. Thank you, everyone. Aloha. Bye-bye. Thank you.